All right. So in part three of our first assignment, we're going to add some more images in. But I'm going to show you a new way to add images. So what we want to do is come to our rectangle frame tool here in the middle of our toolbar on the left side. So I've got it highlighted right there. I'm going to make sure that I've got that going. And what I want to do is come right here, and we just want to make a frame that's going to be the same size as this frame. Now, the next thing we want to do is we also want to come down here, and we want to add a frame at the bottom. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to duplicate it so that all three of these that I bring out are going to be the same size. So now I have three here at the bottom. I can highlight them all right here. I'm going to select all of them, and then I can pull them right here to the center. And once they're in the center, I can raise them up a hair. And then what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it out to the edge right here. So that way I know that they are proportionately spaced. Okay, so I have four frames right here. Now, in my four frames, what I've got is uh, the ability to put basically anything I want in here. I can put text, I can put graphics, I can put images. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Place. And what you're going to have to understand here is you're going to you're going to be placing more than one object at a time. So we're going to go back out to where our photos are. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you click with your Control key, or if you're on a Mac command, uh, so that you can select um, different images. So we want to make sure that we get people. We want to make sure we get food, make sure we get drink, and make sure we get cafe, uh, all four of these. So people, food, drink, and cafe. We're going to hit open. It's going to take it a second. This is a very tough process. Now, look, once you come here, now you're going to see that my mouse has an image. Now, the first thing we're seeing is this image, but you'll notice it has a little parentheses with four. If I hit my arrow keys left or right, I can cycle through the images. So I want to start with the one of the people, and I want to put the I want to just click in this frame right here, so it's going to automatically fit them in this frame. The other three I can just kind of put wherever in here. Doesn't matter to me which order you put them in. Okay, so this is where our fitting really comes from. So remember in the first lesson we talked about the fitting. So if I right click, uh, make sure that your frame is selected, and right click and go to fitting, fill frame proportionally is going to fill this out a little bit more proportionately. Now. One thing that we can do is we can edit our frame a different way than we did earlier. So remember we took this frame and we were editing with the pen tool? Well, there's another way to do it. So if you see this yellow box right here and we click the yellow box, that's going to put these diamonds in the corners of this piece. If you uh, drag that in, it's going to round your corners of this frame off. Okay, I'm going to Control-Z to get out of that. But if you hold down Shift, it will round just one off. And I'm going to bring it all the way as far over as I can. So now we have this unique looking frame right here uh, with these two people. For right now, all I'm going to do is go through and I'm going to fit these proportionately just so I know what I have as far as these pictures when I come back to edit them later. But as far as right now, I'm not going to edit these pictures. All right. So remember, go to File, Save As, and save this as flyer underscore three underscore your last name. Okay, because this is the third part of our flyer series. And we want to make sure that you have every piece so that you know what you're doing and getting everything right. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great time.